Hello everyone, my name is Skelliger, welcome back to The Last Door Chapter 2. We're on part 3 today, uh, basically I've been fumbling around not knowing what I'm doing at all, but, uh, I figured out why I got so stuck, and it's basically because I'm really stupid. So, we're gonna go ahead and fix that, oh my god, no, stop it! So, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. I kept focusing on that tapestry thing, that's what I needed to focus on. No, 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 that is not it at all. I can already open one of the... Hit the button, because that's fucking water system, which is the pipe that I netted up, and I'm so stupid. Now, it should, it should be right here, that I just caught the shiny object. I think it's just oh teardrop so basically now I just go down around came in around here here and then I use a shiny object here or the teardrop I place it last here in a hollow of the virgin's cheek it seems that it fits perfectly and then I use this with this I think I like how she like doubles back twice. <laughs> oh, the our mother is crying? Oh my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? Oh no! Not this! Anything but this! As the fervent devotee, dev it could look like a real tear. Let's go talk to this dude. You, you must help me, cough. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There's a little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain, yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they're praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But sir, I... I know, I, but I beseech you. You will be saving me from, a hor from horrible torture. I will be eternally indebted to you. I don't know if I'd have the courage to do that. No, I'm not. <laughs> I understand. Your request is terrible, terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. God bless you, sir. I don't know how I can show my gratitude. What I need to do is, without the nuns noticing, to try to get an amount of morphine enough so that so that I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and in that, that way stop the rhythm of my heart. Well, I know exactly what to do. Say no more. I took the long way. I did. I took the long way. I know where the morphine is at. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hey, I say that whenever I'm upset. Pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take that, and then I'm gonna talk to you. Praying fervently. Well, I'm gonna leave you be. I'm gonna go down for the morphine thing. Go in there. Okay. So. Excuse me! Excuse me! There's a note on the bed! Well, can I read it? Thank you. Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin. Holy shit! Excuse me, Baldwin! No, this is coming from inside the coffin. What the hell? The lock, badly finished wood coffin. It seems that whoever made it was a bit rushed to finish it. Lock. Whoever to open the coffin. Shit! What am I supposed to do? There, the music box, go! Alright, the, the fuck is Baldwin? Come on. There's gotta be something down here that I can... Hello? What the fuck is that? Nuns have it in walking sick. These no doubt belong to the nun I spoke to by the window, but where did she go? Fuck, there's so many things to check out now!
This dude's like hella trying to get out of there, and I don't even blame him. All right, so I got the morphine. Excuse me, sir. You seem like a lowly piece of shit. She's pretty strict, I can tell you that much, Mr. DeVitt. Don't think she very much likes me, either. Uh, let's go about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an ep episcopal... Ep episcopal... Episcopal bish... Fuck, I can't even. Too stupid for this. Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805, so about... S what was that, like, 90 years ago, according to this? 80 years ago? 85? Aberdeen. It was a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. If you look there, towards the northeast, you'll see King's Chapel Tower. It's the highest point of the city. Oi, you seem a bit distracted, Mr. DeVitt. Oh, don't worry about it. I can't say rightly. I can't rightly say. After all these years, I've never seen the man who knows maybe doesn't exist. Blah, blah, blah. I've already read all that. I'll get to work. Have a nice evening, alumnus DeVitt. Nail tool. This is exactly what I need. You're a son of a bitch. I also need to investigate the nun, unless this is the nun. It's the nun, isn't it? The darkness of his eye. Oh shit. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god. But what has happened? Talk, talk to me. Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Well, what is it I do here? Morphine! Nope. Log! Nope. <gasps> Music box? Uh, I guess not. Well, let's go check on... Ooh, what was in here again? Right, classroom. Let's exit here, go around the building, and then, oh, that was Mother Elizabeth, right, 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 I don't know why I thought that was someone else, these papers appear, how much Mother Elizabeth was working, William Nealon, November 13th, 1891, okay, yeah, so it is the 1890s, cause of death, Cax Caclaxia, no scratch marks have been found in his, in his stomach, holy shit, Elmer Moore, November 17th, cause of death, Pleuritia. No, it's a clear expression of terror on the patient's paralyzed face was found at the time of death. Evelyn Benzie, November 20th that year. Uh, Marasmo notes, we found the patient dead, emas emaciated, and paleness in the body. Theodore Heading, 23rd. Typhoid fever. The patient suffered severe hallucination minutes before death screamed and shook until the opiate started to take effect. Lena Ash down, the 27th. Os Osteoarticular tubic tubercul... Pardon me. Osteoarticular tuberculosis. During the autopsy, we found some strange black marks on his fingers. And Claude Harris, December 10th. I'm um, definitely no. He died when he was sleeping. December 13th. Respiratory arrest. Notes blank. Ellen Blair. Cause of death. Morphine overdose. Patient committed suicide. The patient did not seem to have depressive symptoms or suicidal tendencies. Oliver Foster, December 18th. Poisoning. The patient was admitted for serious symptoms of poisoning. Is that it? And uh, it just goes back to that. Okay. Well, that was fun. Can I go in there? Hmm. It's locked. Well, let's go check out... So that's all right. Is there anything? Uh, that's that's the same. I can't do anything there. And there's probably nothing I can really do in here. I mean, yeah, that's gonna do anything. This is a water. So I got morphine that I was supposed to use to kill a dude. So he's just like let me fucking die. What am I supposed to do? Oh good, he's gone. I don't know where he went. I don't even fucking know. Where the fuck is he? I'm going to 
that back down to the beach. I'm wondering about there's something down there. There's something down here. I know there is. There has to be. Because this is n nuns have no There's no doubt. I spoke to by the window, but where did she go? So that other nun in the room. Oh wait a second. Maybe there weren't more than one. Oops, that's not so maybe that none of the windows an imposter. I guess I didn't really think about it that way, but now I'm gonna check it out. But I want her to talk to me. Alright, maybe there is just two nuns. Maybe I'm just... Alright, well that's... Yeah. Well, taking that. Hello? D excuse me, sir. Don't look into his eyes. Will do! Good talk, bro! Because dwells in his eyes the deepest darkness. Oh, more about the eyes. Yep, that's good. Come in, my son. <gasps> is this the dude? Is it, is it a dude? Did you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic literature books, father. Socrates and Aristotle. Silence, instruments of falsehood, you'll mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. <laughs> Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. It's Latin. Malum and say. Elam, it's evil itself. A strange eye-shaped symbol. The fuck was that? Was that a bird? Ah! Eye of the bird, what does that mean? A set of crucifixes next to the door. Oh shit! This is gonna be the same thing. Who's this dude? Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of s Pardon me, sand? Ugh. Father Ernest. Ernest? It's been many years since I last heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties, petitions, praying, torment, exemption. Past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and dis disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Yeah, still does it. The creepy image of Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering its head. Oh, that's really disturbing. The makeshift altar has coated a dense layer of wax. The candles are having burnt out, only barely illuminate the room. large burn covering his eyes he's completely blind despite his despite of his de decrepitude extreme thinness and paleness I can still recognize father Ernest but he seems far away like in another world that doesn't do anything what am I supposed to even do here Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice. The sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal? Well, knowing you, it's probably the sharp sword! Yes, yes, that is it. How would I know? The Lord, with his sharp sword, transmits us his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. And now, my son, tell the Lord... Which one is his holy path? The wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance? Is his path? I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, no, no! Your soul lives embraced by the darkness, 
And now, my son, tell the Lord who you are, the faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman. <laughs> lost seaman. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was just doing one based on who DeVitt's character might be. Okay. Now leave me alone. I have to purify my soul. Did it? No, but a thing fell. But a thing fell! God, you just so... Mm. I wonder if I did this. <laughs> How am I supposed to be careful while moving? How is that even supposed to... Well, regardless, we've run out of time. So, if you like my video, go ahead and hit the like button down below or leave a comment. Love saying hi to you guys. But look out for more videos. In the meantime, I will see you guys later. Bye!